welcome back to the playthrough. The last time we left off, we were just introduced to Piero. We have been framed for the Duchess's murder. Her daughter Emily is missing. We've joined a group of loyalists who would like to take the city back from the people who killed the Duchess. Yeah, um, a lot has gone on actually. Um, it's 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 a lot you know like entering a new universe you kind of have to learn everything the last episode was pure carnage let's not mince words i didn't do very well i killed everyone <laughs> mostly everyone i didn't want to it's just thought it's the way it happened um i think i just need to slow down a little bit um i was a little bit overwhelmed with this game i don't know why there are some games that scare me in terms of you know i doubt my ability and my i don't know do you ever feel like that it's is it just a me thing i don't know i just remember when i first looked at this game a long time ago that's how i felt i was like wow well, this game seems a little bit difficult i don't know i was just in my head about it i guess i don't think i've ever really played a game like this before very stealth heavy i have played you know there's stealth in most games but i think this game yeah um i'm very excited to get into it again um i'm very interested in the world and the gameplay so let's try this again a visit from the outsider something's not right what is this? Am I dreaming? Yeah, this is a dream. Okay. Hello, Corvo. Is Your it? life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that can call magic. And now, these forces will serve you. Sure. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Who the hell are Come you? Come find me. Oh wow, okay. Press LT to execute a fast and stealthy forward dash through the world. You can also use it- but LT is my- that's my gun. You can also use it to move upward, but the distance is reduced. Aiming at ledges will allow you to blink forward and jump up. Hold LT to target your destination with precision. A blue sphere indicates that you should reach your destination. A blue arrow indicates that you will climb up when you reach your dis- Oh. Right. Red. You cannot save her. You cannot save her. You cannot save her. Hero's spiritual remedy. That's an old LB. Yeah. What's oh, that's my mana, I guess, for my powers. So. Sh uh, yeah. I am very sad. They say that you're dead like mother, but I'm going to put this note in a bottle and throw it into the river because I do not believe them. Living here is very strange. I do not like it, so please come for me if you can. They look the same. The 
spy master or is yeah, that's the spy master, I'm pretty sure. You need to blink to jump. I have the I am the power at the edge of a roof ledge. Okay. Oh yeah. Runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another room. Use your blink power to reach the earth. Equipping the heart in your left hand helps you locate bone charms or runes even through walls. The heart beats and lights up when you are facing a bone charm or rune and it beats faster as you get closer. The heart will whisper secrets if you press L trigger while targeting a person or location. Like secrets about a person or a location? This is weird. This does not seem holy. This place is the end of all things and the beginning. All of time is meaningless here. Neither seconds no centuries. Someday this place will devour all the lights in the sky. The one who walks here is all things. Cradle songs of comfort and bones gnawed by teeth. This is the place from which those who dabble in the black arts draw their power. Yeah. And this place is their doom. Yeah, this does not seem, you know, good, you know, <laughs> like. I can feel a great age ending. This place is the end of all things and the beginning. Time is meaningless here. Neither seconds nor centuries. Someday this place will devour all the lights in the sky. The one who walks here is all things. Cradle songs of comfort and bones gnawed by teeth.
Once you've collected some runes, open the journal and go to the power section to exchange them for powers. Runes can be collected and used to acquire supernatural powers. Oh my god, cool. So the first one seems to be the only one I can afford. Right, oh, and this one. Vitality, yes! Dark vision, what's this? See in the dark and see living things through walls, including their fields of vision, representations of the sounds that you make. Oh, I like this. This is Oh, and they've got levels too. Rapid forward movement for a longer distance. Oh, shit. Okay. I think I'm just going to, um, I think I'm going to get this. Health is increased. Yeah, that's, I'm just going to do it. Acquire. Do you want to? Yes. You have extended, an extended health bar. At level two, you regenerate more health faster. All right. Yeah. Cool. This is really cool. I really How you use what I have given you falls upon you as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. I think you're evil. I mean, the heart of a living thing is a bit of a dead giveaway, and the black eyes doesn't help either. Hidden allies. Hidden in an old bar on the river, your new allies have plans to share with you. Meet with the loyalists in a circle to learn what they've got in mind. Piero is an inventor who is available to craft and upgrade equipment. Piero spends most of his time in his workshop. Mm -hmm. A new day. Speak to Admiral Havelock. Hav ha Havelock. Is it Havelock or Havelock? In the bar. Optional. The rune. Use the heart to find the rune near the... Yes. We need more runes. Is there a, a character like character profiles it doesn't look like it it's just got so much more exciting for me like all the pa i did not know that there would be supernatural powers in this game again i don't know anything about this game what's this mystic wolfhound artifact what is all this rune or bone charm Bone charms provide small supernatural benefits. Locate them by listening for the song they emit. By default, you can activate up to three bone charms at once in the bone charm section of the menu in the journal. Benza wins sword versus sword contests more frequently. Okay, so this is the only one we have so far. Okay, so we can equip three at the same time. Oh, we've got... Okay. Last resist damage from explosions reduced slightly. Yeah. Fire water. Shot whiskey bottles explode with greater intensity. Three of four. Okay. Yep, so we've activated all these three. Okay. I have a hundred dollars. Early life and criminal record. Excerpt from a series of letters sent by a member of the Bottle Street Gang. You want the chin wag on Slack Jaw? What he was like when we were young before he got his name? Oh, he's got a cool head now, but it weren't always like that in the days before he was boss of the Bottle Street Gang. Time was young Slack Jaw wasn't such a reasonable man. Like most of us, he grew up on the streets, running with a pack of ragamuffins and avoiding the law, pinching whatever he needed. Dark haired and dark eyed, smoking a pipe by the age of 10. For them born into the brothers or coming from the orphanages, it was either the gangs or working with the mudlarks. No one wants that. Got some pressed into the Navy. Some got pressed into the Navy or put down in the mines run by the Pendleton or Boyle families. 
as hard as it was in the streets, as hungry as we all got, at least he was free. We was free. By the time we weren't little uns anymore, little little uns anymore, Slackjaw was one to watch, usually calling the shots. When we took down a farmer's cart or sidewalk street vendor, he'd come up with the plan, give everyone some part to play and decide on the split. Most of us just went along, because we learned fast that we made our bed out better like that. More food, more coin, plus none of us wanted to deal with Slack Jaw when he was in a rage. He worked on a couple of big jobs with Slack with Black Sally along ta across town. That was enough to get the attention of the other bosses. He wasn't just a street kid anymore, now he was an up-and-comer, which meant trouble. Another guy who fancied himself as such was Mike the Fish. He was working his way up running the protection racket among the factory women. One fine evening, we all we were all taking taking in a bawdy show in the theatre house. Mike the Fish and his lot were there in the cheap seats too, just down the aisle from us. Mark gets a wild idea. He wasn't big on planning and throws a heavy ceramic splatoon at Slackjaw. Hits him square in the face and breaks his jaw. We look to see if any if there's going to be a blood brawl, but Slackjaw just points at the door and we all leave, with Mike laughing at our backs. Waking up the next day without telling us why, Slackjaw motions for us all to follow. He still can't say a word, so we just came along. Aww. We stop at the docks and Slackjaw buys, actually pays coin for it, a heavy chain covered in hooks. It's for fishing in the deep, something you'd attach to a long line off the side of a ship. It's about four feet, made of thick links, and there are shark hooks coming off it at different angles. Slackjaw's got that thing wrapped around his left arm, dangling at his side. Not sure how he knew where Mike the fish was staying, but when we reach this girl's, his girl's house, Slackjaw throws a bottle through the window just like that. It's almost noon. There's a bunch of screaming inside and Mike pokes his head out, looking wide-eyed and baffled. When he sees Slackjaw out in the street, a look comes over his face that still gives me the willies. Pure murder. Mike comes out at the side door, bellowing like a blood ox, holding a cleaver, heading straight for Slackjaw. When they come together in the street, Slackjaw spins and the shark hook bite deep into Mike's arm and shoulder. He screams, but Slackjaw holds onto the chain. He's standing there with his jaw broken, clenched tight, with the hook chain wrapped around his left arm. Hook sunk into Mike and the fish, just <laughs> just knifing him as fast as he can. Mike couldn't fight very well, hooked like that and using his left hand, but he was a big guy and it took a lot of stabbing before he went to his knees. Everyone was cheering at first, but then we all went quiet. It just kept going and going until finally it was just Mike the fish blubbering, crying like a baby and the sound of Slackjaw's knife. When it was over, and there's and here's the brilliant part, Slackjaw took out a note and stuck to Mike's face with a nail. It just said, if you want a job, come to Bottle Street. Slackjaw didn't talk right for a couple of months, but word spread fast. By the end of the year, once we had a sizable gang going, he sent out letters to the other bosses telling them them that he was running a brand new crew over on Bottle Street. Most of them laughed or beat up the guys who delivered the letters green-eyed Trish even came back missing a thumb, but apparently Slackjaw was expecting that kind of reaction and had a backup plan. A week later, four of the bosses were dead. Seemed like a series of unfortunate events, but everyone knew better. One shot dead by the watch while standing in the middle of a meat market. Another slipping and falling into the water, out cold. One of the older bosses found in bed with his belly opened wide and a Tivian pear stuffed into his mouth. Still not sure what that meant. And Sheila Barnsworth was found bubbling in a cauldron of hot wax. Oh my god, bubbling. Slackjaw sent out another set of letters, offers to the underbosses, telling them they'd be treated fair as peers. He even sent green-eyed Trish one with one of the letters. All of the underbosses accepted. After spilling the guts of his main competition, Slackjaw went in for stabilising his business real neat-like. 
calling in favors, smoothing things over, giving everyone a little bit of coin or drink as a bonus, showing what he could be like as a boss, so everything got quiet, which always makes the boss of the city watch nervous, of boys of the city watch nervous, of course. Word went out among the loyal spy master snitches, the responsible citizens group they called themselves, telling everyone working in a shop or sweeping off the front steps of their homes to keep watchful eyes for Slackjaw and his men, trying to suss out what they were up to and what had just happened. But Slackjaw ain't stupid. He greased a few palms along the, among the shopkeepers and the watch too, telling them that he was in town to stay and that things would be run properly from now on without so much blood. He was finally a real boss, ready to settle into the businesses of moving whiskey, running the hound fights and offering up the ladies and gentlemen of the night if you take my meaning. Then the plague came. At first it seemed like a good thing. A few people got sick and everyone wanted to buy those potions from Scott Skolov or Piero Sokolov Sokolov or Piero health elixir or spiritual remedy they call them remedy they call them Slackjaw told me he saw an opportunity we already had an old whiskey factory with a still where we could water the stuff down and sell it discounted doing the same with the Sokolov's elixir was a smart plan pretty soon everybody in the slums was sick and business was good but after a while, there were so many people down with plague that everyone got scared. Everybody started acting real nasty and everything fell apart. When people can't work, they don't have the coin for elixir, watered down or pure. When the Empress died, it seemed like Dunwall would slide into the void. Spymaster Burrows took over and the Watch started using all that new Sokolov technology. Watchtowers, tall boys and them arc pylons. They put up a wall of light across claving... Clavering Boulevard and cracked down hard. But Slackjaw surprised us again. Instead of leaving town on a boat bound for Morley or one of the other isles, he stayed and kept it all together. We get as much elixir to fight off the plague as the city watch, with their taxes and rations, and that's kept us alive so far. Crowley, Bottle Street Gang. Oh my god. <laughs> that's a lot of reading, but really interesting and really brutal oh my god shit street bottle gang interesting oh more charms oh so we have a thousand mystical whale artifact so can we sell this all right what else do we have white rats friend white rats won't attack you I haven't seen a white rat yet. Gotta feast while rats can be consumed. Alright. Um, wind sword versus. Yes, we'll leave that damage. Yeah. Contests. What do you mean, contests? Is this like fight? Like. Like. Friendly fights? Or is this like. Contests? Is that. Mm. Oh. Okay, so we can do four. Oh, I thought it said three. All right, white rats won't attack you. Blast resistant, and we'll what? So we can activate five out of five. Okay, so we can do all of them. Or did it say? I don't understand. By default, you can activate up to three at once but I have five but if I just want to be um I, I don't want I just want my hand out how do I just get my hand out okay no I just oh, I just want to be okay How is effect slightly improved? Yeah, all right. Okay. Shit. 
from the personal memoirs of Hiram Burroughs dated several years earlier. This is the fourth day, month of high cold. Progress continues on the suppression of gang activity in the distillery district. Distillery district, but more slowly than I'd expected. The ruffians operating there have been cunning. I'll grant them that, but it's only a matter of time. I'll see their leaders flogged in public and sent beneath the royal executioner's blade. If I had my way, that mute bastard would be working night and day, removing the heads that need removing. Internally, the Empress does not seem pleased with my investigations. It seems that it is beyond her thinking, against her very nature as a trusting person, to believe that traitors move among us, but I know they do, they must. No Jasmine, Jasmine would rather spend her time with the Royal Protector, at least he's likely to stop any immediate threat to her safety, but a strong arm is not what's needed against those who would undermine us. How will Corvo's sword stop a poisoned wine glass or an explosive delivered by courier? It will not. There are many threats around us, threats requiring meticulous efforts to police. Young Lady Emily is undisciplined, I'm afraid. Here, with Dunwall t here's within Dunwall Tower, she receives instruction from the finest tutors known in the Isles, yet her mother spoils her and she spends most of her time lost in imagination, wasting her time drawing or asking Corvo to teach her to fight with wooden sticks. The girl might rule the Empire someday. Every moment spent at play is a moment wasted. Shoring up security from for a main gate leading into Dunwall Tower has been another pet project of late. To think that back in his day, Emperor Caldwin left it open to the public during the day, allowing anyone to come and go as they please. If it were, if it were up to me, I'd seal up access to the streets entirely, but the Empress won't hear of it. The water lock is much easier to protect, and if it were the only way into the tower, traffic in and out would be greatly reduced. Someday the wrong person is going to slip in and will suffer for it. Mark my words. No amount, of, uh, no amount of security is excessive when it comes to protecting heads of state. The Empress also disapproves of my plans for the Sokolov devices. Sokolov himself has no interest in security, of course, but he's vain and therefore keen to see his inventions deployed in any fashion. This wall of light he's been tinkering with has promise. In any case, at least, I was able to convince the Empress to upgrade the pistols carried by the officers of the Watch. Why do I worry so, when no one else seems to care? If I ever fall asleep, will it all sink into the ocean? Will the rough things clamour over the walls and fill themselves on our flesh? This is what I see in the same dream several times each month. If only I had more say in things, more authority, I could protect us all. Perhaps I have been working too hard. Dinner and an evening of conversation with a certain lady of refinement might be in order. Perhaps somewhere nice in the estate district. Here in Burroughs, Royal Spymaster. Okay. Alright. This is really interesting. So it kind of paints a picture, I guess, as to how people, certain people, have felt during the reign of the Duchess, you know? Yeah, this is really interesting. Shoot, we're getting so much money, rumours and sightings. Excerpt from an overseer's covert field report. For over a year now, I have lived away from the Abbey without the company of my overseer, brethren, or the guidance of the blind sisters of the Oracula Order. Oh my god, so much reading. <clears throat> Days have passed with me, sleeping in the dens of cut purses, murderers and worse, and the knights have seen me prowling through the worst alleys and wretched corners of Dunwall. I have taken my meals with killers. At times I have ventured beyond the city walls, meeting in forgotten graveyards and the outlying ruins frequented by those of ill means. My beard has grown long and I wear the weathered clothing and bits of boiled leather favoured by the Bottle Street and Hutter gangs and by those rough men and women who make their trade knifing others in return for coin. My hands have been red with blood, it's true, but I have se selected my targets with care. 
choosing among those criminals and heretics who were not fit to live, executing them justly and using their deaths as a means of building my reputation. So for this trick has allowed me to take my so far this trick has allowed me to make my name up. Make my name among my murderous colleagues without taking the lives of the innocent. My goal is singular. I must impress the assassin named Dowd in order to get close to him. Of all of the practitioners of black magic we have tracked, none concern the Abbey as much as Dowd. So is this guy an undercover agent or is this a bit of writing he found by some criminal? I, I don't really understand what these overseers are really. Of all of the practitioners of black magic we have tracked, none concern the Abbey as much as Dowd, Dord. It is said that his mother was a witch from one of the Archi Archipelago Plagos off the Pandan Pandisian, Pandisian coast. Pandisian coast? Taken captive by pirates venturing far from the isles, according the legend. According to the legend, by the time the ship returned, the captain was dead and the witch controlled the crew, with Dard, Dord still a shadow in her belly. The earliest stories tell of a gang, a gang killer without mercy, moving among the shopkeepers and city watch officers of Dunmore like a reaper through wheat. Then a period of silence followed, years we now believe he spent travelling the aisles, studying anatomy and the occult in the great halls of learning and in hidden basements, frequented by fellow dabblers in the forbidden arts. Dord is even purported to have spent a winter, a winter in the Academy of Natural Philosophy itself, and for a time before a schism developed, he counted the Brig Brigamore witches among his allies. All the while he honed his craft, and it is during this time that we believed he began to consort with the outsider. Oh, that's that. Is that that guy that gave us the heart? The outsider? New reports emerged from a dusky skinned assassin, paid by the elite to eliminate their rivals in Dunwall and in the other major cities across the Isles. Those who saw him and lived numbered in the handful, but all of them reported something strange. He appeared and vanished like smoke. From a nearby rooftop, he gestured, he gestured and a noble woman stumbled from her balcony, falling to her doom on the cobblestones below. Most recently, as this new threat of plague has, ri has risen in Dunwall, Dord has seen leading has been leading a gang of men in dark leather, dressed as factory whalers in their vapour masks. They seem loyal behind comprehen beyond comprehension for one so unworthy, leading me to wonder if some of his magic is dedicated to luring, l lulling their minds, enslaving them. Only a month ago, one young girl claims to have come upon a strange scene. Carrying a bottle of milk home to her crippled brother, she was taking a shortcut through the tailor's district. In a narrow street, she passed beneath a window and heard unusual sounds from within. Pushing aside the running curtain, the girl saw into an abandoned apartment used by miscreants for gambling and trading hot haber weed. weed. An occult shrine has been erected against the far wall, which she recognised from the teachings given by her old local overseer. A man... So, an overseer is... is are they like a priest? Because, you know, Abbey... Are they like some religious organisation? Yeah, it must... A man she described as resembling Dord... I'm going to call him Dord. Um, if I'm wrong, let me know in the com comment In the comments. <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> resembling Dord was kneeling before the shrine, muttering to an unseen spirit as if in argument. He took a carving made of pale bone from the altar before him and the lights all went out in a gush of unclean wind. Quiet as a field mouse, she slipped away running until she reached her home. Made of pale bone, the bone charms maybe? There can be no doubt, Dord is an agent of the outsider and must die, for there is no limit to the evil this man might do. This is my solemn oath and the great purpose of my life. While Dord is a dead, is a dead and he, while well, Dord is is a dead, and his corruption has been purged from the world, 
I will continue to move among the the depraved, winding winding my way toward him. I will not drop my guys or don my overseer's mask again until Dord breathes no more. So he he is undercover. Okay. Interesting. So interesting. Let's look at our bones. Raven, drop assassination. You drop assassination gives you a bit of health. You know what? Let's take them all off. Now that we've got a lot, and let's read all of them. I like that. Gives you a bit of health. Drop assassination. What's that? What's a drop assassination? Quick dodge. Enemies miss more often with arrows and bolts. River affinity. Swim speed increase. We swim pretty fast. Uh, breath, breath capacity and water increase slightly. Moderate keyhole peeping ma magnification. Broken glass sound is moderately, re moderately reduced. Uh, we'll do power if effects increase. Gives you more health. I don't know what drop assassination is. Enemies miss more often. Yeah. Uh, swim, breath, mm, breaking glass sound, yeah, um, won't attack you, yeah, white rats can be consumed, show with super damage from, I'm gonna do this, damage from, so we're, we're pretty defensive right now, we have a lot of defensive stuff, um, the, so far the saw, I, I don't really have, I haven't had any difficulty really with the sword fighting. Um, I, everything seems to be a blockable attack so far. Um, so we don't use shot whiskey bottles. Um, so yeah, we'll leave it at that. Yeah. All right. Can we do another one? Why? So we can do six now. One, two, three, four. Okay. I will do this. Oh, six. Okay. So we can do six. Okay. All right. Oh, that was a lot. We just got a lot right now. Thanks, outsider. What's this? Mystic rat artifact. So I'm guessing we can sell those, yeah? Let's have a look. We got a lot of stuff. And we learned a lot of really interesting things Attention, too. Attention citizens of Dunwall. The old port district has been added to the evacuation list. The weeper count for the month of seeds has increased. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague ordinance will remain in effect through the month of rain. Stay alert and stay loyal. Alright, so there's hearts up there. So I think I'll lose heart. I'll probably hurt myself, I think, if I jump. Oh, um. Oh. No, don't mind me everyone. I'm just running around with a heart. Um can, can I Yeah, alright. Can I hold my heart? Yeah, oh <laughs> No, not while I'm swimming. What about now? What, what what's happening? <gasps> I'm getting attacked! What the fuck? What's attacking me? Oh, shit. Fish. The powers you obtain from runes can be used creatively to defeat enemies or move through the environment. Blink from roof to roof, possess rats and fish, or slow time before rushing a group of enemies. Play your way, powers. Okay. Are there any more runes? I think that's it. Yeah, okay. Alright, put your heart away. Put the heart away. Now we'll speak to Admiral Havelock. Havelock. So, can I shoot? 
Can I shoot the fish? Let's have a look. No. Yes. Put the gun back. Yep. Let's see. I want to see if I can shoot the fish. No, I can't. Oh, I got it. All right, cool. How do I reload? Oh. Can I get the meat? No. <laughs> no. All right. Let me swim in peace. knife away. Oh shit, there's a fish there. No! Don't hurt me. Oh my god, oh my god, leave me alone. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh my god. How do I put my knife away? No. All right, I guess I'll just, I'm just going to walk around with my sword. Hey, Samuel Beechworth. I hope you're well rested. The Admiral has some adventures in store for you, but only he knows the details. He sounds like someone from Fallout New Vegas. I want to say the doctor, but I don't think so. Current's slow these days. The river's silting up. I think he's, a, I know his voice. He's very Fallout. Fallout New Vegas specifically. It's been a long time since I've played Fallout 3, like years and years and years. But um, Fallout New Vegas I remember quite well. The outsider walks among us. Uh, any hearts around here? No, okay, I think we're done with hearts for now. Okay. I don't feel good about walking around with my knife, you know? Oh, Piero. Are you sleeping? There you are. Hey. Havelock stopped in earlier, but I forgot what he wanted. Havelock. Okay. He's waiting to see you, I believe. Mm -hmm. What can I do for you? Let's talk about upgrades and new equipment. Awesome. Upgrades? Alright, um, I wanted to get, um, uh, enables one additional four. What? But I, I've got six. What do you mean? I'm confused. I'm really confused by this. Um, it says the tutorial told me three and now I can upgrade to four, but I've got six equipped. I don't understand. I want to do a sword one. It makes a sword more effective when locking blades. Yeah, let's let's do a sword one. Yes. Increase radius for the I don't know what that is. Allows you to magnify your view. We'll do the gun. Turn the accuracy and real. If it was damage, I would get that. Reloads faster. Crossbow bolts travel faster, further. We'll do that. It's cheap. It's cheap. This is cheap too. I'm just gonna get it. Did I just waste my money? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright. Alright, we'll leave it at that. Actually, actually, um... What can I do for you? Let's have a look at purchases. Grenades. We'll get, we'll get two. Alright, we'll... We'll just leave it. No! Put your grenade away, you psycho! Oh my god. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. 
To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Howl Pits. Okay. Glad to see you got your rest, Corvo. You'll need it. Say, that's an interesting tattoo on your hand. Saw a lot of that in the Navy, but nothing quite like yours. Mm. Keep your eye out for Martin. I need him back here if we're going to pull this off. High Overseer Campbell tricked and bullied his way into power. The man is completely corrupt. Uh -huh. The City Watch and the Overseers can't stand each other. The military doesn't mix well with a bunch of religious fanatics. Mm -hmm. You might be able to use that. Uh -huh. Nervous? I would be. Tonight is the beginning of a new life for you. But you're killing for a just endeavor. Remember that. High Overseer Campbell is a bastard. And we've got to find Emily. Yeah, so overseers are religious people. The overseers are a strange bunch, okay. completely obsessed with the seven strictures and hunting down heresy. I don't know if I believe in all that witchcraft bunk, but I saw some odd things at sea. Hmm. Interesting. Obey the city watch. Tampering with security devices is punishable by death. In sparrow feathers. Huh. Report any sickness. Hiding the plague is punishable by death. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. Why I feel like my camera pulls. Like, it pulls me like this, and it's hard to... I don't know if that's a controller issue, or if it's the game that's doing that. But I feel like the game just takes control of my camera. And I don't, like, I feel like it's just constantly having to... Oh, yeah, it's, it's weird. Eliminate High Overseer Campbell, travel with Samuel the Boatman to your first mission. Locate Emily, take the blackmail journal. High Overseer Campbell leads the city's military. So this is the guy that was getting painted. Mm. High Overseer Campbell leads the city's militant religious faction and is a, is a close ally to the Lord Regent. Campbell is completely corrupt and holds the secret to Emily's location. Infiltrate the office of the High Overseer, steal Campbell's journal and eliminate him. An ally of the Loyalist, Martin, is being held there. Free him and allow him to escape. See? See what I mean? Did you see that? Like the camera just shifted. Is there any way I can... Oh, here we go. Auto-aim. Off. Aim assist. Off. Oh, Corvo? If you've a moment. Who are you? Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. Shh. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison, and I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. 
before you became an assassin. I mean, you should know who this person is, yeah? Kalissa has an uncle who is a captain of the Dunwall City Watch. Captain Corno is a decent man trying to make the best of a corrupt regime and an act change from within. He's meeting much resistance. Okay. She saw me and she like made a beeline away from me. <laughs> Lydia! <laughs> I had a sailor for a boyfriend once. He thought he'd strike gold digging in the Pandisian cliffs. They okay. found his ship Citizens drifting in. Dunwall. The old port district has All been right, added to you, the Lydia. evacuation list. The weeper count for the month of seeds has increased. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague ordinances will remain in effect through the month See? of the See? My Lydia. camera just drifts like this. My controller seems fine. Ready to go? Just give the signal. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go then. Take me to the distillery district. Put oh, my mask on. I was worried when he was adjusting my mask in the first video that our vision was going to be like, but he adjusted it and it's fine. <laughs> It'll be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes, like that Granny Braggs. They say she's nuts. Know which is worse. Just take your pick. The guns. The city watch, watch holds Clavering Boulevard beyond the first wall of light. The Bottle Street gang controls the side streets around Clavering, Clavering Boulevard. Granny Rags lives in an apartment at the far end of Endoria Street. Okay. Yes, I would like some rat, please. Wow. <laughs> That's not much. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I've moved my camera um, so you can see a little bit more. Is that better? Shit. Um, I don't know. We'll try it because I, I don't like covering things because I, I want you guys to be able to see. Um, so we'll leave it like this. Let me know if if you don't like it. I don't know. <laughs> if you decide to go up Clavering, don't let the guards spot you. Watch out for the Bottle Street thugs if you take to the alleys. Mean bastards. I find it weird that we don't have a map, you know? Optional, use the Bottle Street alleys to get around the walls of light. Surely we have a map. A man like just not seeing it. Let's go. It's nearly midnight. But easy, damn it. Keep him in the boat. Canal's got enough shit in it as it is. The city is going, dearest Gwen, the city is going to burn. I've sold everything so there's nothing for me here now except you. I'll wait for you when Clavering Boulevard crumbles into the river where we used to meet. We'll take the money I've made the bribe out, I made to bribe our way into a passing whale ship. I won't leave without you and if you don't, won't come, I'd rather be right food. Love, Arthur. Hey, what is it? I think that last one was moving. What? No. So... Yes. So I'm confused. Is this the? Are these the people? These are enemies. Yeah, shit. Okay. Shit. Okay. All right. Can't believe we lost. I'll flush you. Get around here. Damn you. Uh. 
Okay, so that's how I'm... Okay. So I just hold X. Okay. Who was calling for help? I heard someone calling for help. Oh. Survivor. Don't ask me for anything. I'm barely getting by myself. All, right. all these rats crawling all over everything. Mm. So I don't need... Did I just get attacked because I had my sword out? Oh my god. Attention Dunwall citizens. This is a special announcement from our honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord oh, Regent shit. has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. Faster! In addition, uh -huh. to discontinuing my the overseers of the Abbey of the Empire ah. remain in service of the state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We owe our thanks to High Overseer Campbell for the generous loan of their services. I thought that I could just run, walk around because that other guy, he was just walking around. So why can't I just walk around? Is it because I have a mask on? Like, why are people attacking me? I don't understand. You know? Where's the, where's the alley? I, I want to go through the alleyway. Is that the alley there? I don't know where I'm going because I don't have a map. That's the wall of light. I don't want to go there. I want to go around the wall of light. Attention Dunwall citizens. The following businesses See, have been why can he just walk around the and I can't? Barrow's Barbershop and Surgery, the Duke and Dancer Ale House, Merritt's Printing Firm, Pennyworth's Tack and Saddle Emporium, and the Smoke Street Dice Hall. Granny, 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 come out with me instead. Granny, 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 you can't because you're dead. Is that that crazy lady? Mm, if I was a bunny, I'd want to eat that. Yes, I would indeed. I think the birdies are sad today. Shit. Can I kill them? Do I get a better ending the more rats I kill? Uh, I can't slide down. So can I go up there? Is it too high? I reckon it's too high. Yeah. Can I swim? Around? Blink up. Yeah. They are burning the whales. The doom of Pandesia has come to the city. The river rushed in when the barrier broke. A whole district went dark. Up there. Go up, please. Robust potions give you slightly more health. 
Oh, so now I have eight. So now I can... Okay. I don't understand. I really don't understand this. I don't know how I'm getting all of these. Like... Lock... Uh, mm. Okay, we'll do that one. Darren and Gwen. You can get past this wall of light in a number of ways. Disable it by removing the whale oil tank. Climb up the crates to the right and see it. Use the roof. Find another path by following the streets to the right. Hope possess a rat and use the small tunnel to the left. Right. Is there anything up here? Disable security devices or make them work in your favour by using a rewire tool on the circuitry panel for the security device you want to hack. Rewired, wall, rewired walls of light, arc, pylons and watchtowers will harm your enemies instead of you, while rewired alarms will be fully disabled. Okay. Sergeant Hay Hayburn, all the wall of light components have been delivered to your station and I expect it to be functional before midnight. You've also been provided with several spare whale oil, oil tanks, should the need arise. Last, it's come to my attention that various watchmen continue the adolescent practice known as rat burning. Remember, whale oil is not cheap. Please keep your men under control. Captain Corno. A spring razor trap can be attached to any surface by aiming at it and pressing left trigger. It will be triggered as an enemy approaches it, throwing up a cloud of shrapnel. Ooh. Cool. Going to Dynamo Whiskey Distillery. Why do I want to go here for? No. Go to Bottle Street. I don't understand, like, the lay of the land or the area, you know what I mean? Like, it's so weird not having a map. <laughs> Are these the gangs? Just a cold. Are you sure? Because you know we have to check you over. Oh, you don't want to talk to us like that. Are they just going to? Yes, Bottle Street is here to take its cut. To Art Dealer's you apartment. Your pockets and let's get this done. Cannot yeah. be opened. And the inspection fee. We can't, can't help it. Look at just the... the way we do things. Like, are they going to talk to me, or are they just going to flat out attack me? Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Cross the line and have your throat cut. Oops. I'm trapped. Stay away. Uh, Cross the line and you'll have your throat cut. What are you looking at? Oh shit, I shouldn't kill Please. people. What am I doing? Don't kill people. Excuse me. Press the wrong buttons. Uh. I saved you at least. Hey. Uh. I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was at one time, but now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Uh, cliff sells scavenged items at Blood Bloodox Way. Want to look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. Yeah. Let me see what you've scavenged. Scavenged. Blueprint lens. A diagram for increasing stability in a multi-lens array. Pyro 
Piero can use this to upgrade the magnifying lens in your mask. The formula for Scott. Oh, Piero can use this to distill a liquid that restores health and protects against the rough play. Oh. Why do I need the blueprint for? I don't. I mean, he, Piero sells elixir, doesn't he? 100 coins? I'm pretty sure they shouldn't cost that much. Oh, maybe they do. The no, yeah, all right. 200. No thanks. Why not? Am I allowed to do that? Oh, that scared me. <laughs> Why am I vibrating? Is there a root, a thing here or something? Mm. What the? What the fuck? All right. Shit. That's not good. What's that? Oh, there we go. Potions give you moderately more health. Okay. Bone charms, a sailor's blessing, they say. The carving itself is a practice from long back, passed from father to son, old man salt to greenhorn still getting his sea legs beneath him. In the old times, men cut into the tusks of ice seals and into the arm-long fang fangs of bears that roam there are. Once the whale trade began, the practitioners went to engraving the bones of those great beasts, rendering the charms that sing in the night and grant some small boon to a man's vigor or a defense against pregnancy. Don't mind me, I just broke into your house. Yes, I would indeed. Why do I keep vibrating? It's stressful, you know? Oh no, that's not a nice thing. Sure. Just garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. All of it. Uh. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Ah, oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them. And they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? I mean, I've killed... Deal with Granny's gentlemen. Okay, um... What the f- What the fuck is that? What the fuck? <laughs> Let us in, Granny! Okay. I bet she can't even hear us. <laughs> what do you want? Would you look at this? You don't walk into Bottle Street looking like that. That outfit must have cost a lot. Maybe I'll let my girlfriend wear it. <laughs> Take him there! Uh, I'm gonna lose your court. Oh no, that's not a nice thing. That's garbage. Garbage. Oh. So you can loot unconscious people. That's good. Alright. Right, how long do they do their sleep for? Right. Yes, I would indeed. Oh my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. 
Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now Shit. I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Alright, um, I'll go, I want to go upstairs first. I think the little birdies are sad sure. today. I, told you the I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. Mm. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. The bottle, the bottle straight gang has a bootleg elixir still inside the old Dunmore whiskey distillery. They're creating their own version of Sokolov, Sokolov, Sokolov's health elixir and selling it. So I think I got confused. I think it's the runes that I can only. Oh, okay. So I have two now. This might be good to get. Build up a journal and when trigger brute, brutal really. Maybe I should get this. I'm gonna get this. See a tutorial. Press like trigger to see in the dark and to reveal living beings through solid. Yeah, I want this. Yeah, let's get it. Cool. Get out. There we go. Oh no. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? I have two more runes. So I can upgrade the ones I already have. How much does that cost? No, two runes, no. At uh, level 1, your health is increased, allowing you to sustain more damage from attacks, explosions, or falling. At level 2, the portion of your health bar that regenerates is improved in several ways. Regeneration occurs faster and more of your health regenerates. I can't up I need 3 to upgrade this. Okay. Jump height is increased and falling damage is reduced. That's good. Unaware enemies who don't see you turn to ash as they die. Ah, oh, this might be good. Well, this... Does that take care of the rat problem? Like, if I kill enemies, it won't affect the plague? Because you know how... Because you know how it affects the ending. Like, if you... The less people you kill, the better ending you get. But if I get this, and they turn to ash, does that mean I get the better ending? Because it doesn't affect the plague, because they just turn to ash. Should I just get this? I'm just gonna get this. 
Each time you kill an unaware enemy, the body turns to ash, disappearing, so you don't need to hide it at level 2. Or, oh, okay. Alright. Alright, let's go to the So I can be more stealthy, I guess. Okay, well that was good. I'm glad we came here. Now I want it, let's go to the distillery, I guess. Okay, we have to remember to spare Corno. Oh, so this is the doctor. There is a strong drink made here. I tried it once. Distilled from river crusts by the taste of it. The brothels sprang up around the distilleries. They are inseparable. I will be glad to rest. There is a strong drink made here. I tried it once. Distilled from river crusts by the taste of it. No. Can I get them from here? Where'd you got this bastard up for the hag bag? Come on, really? Shit. Oh fuck. Oh really? You can't see me? I wanna Somebody, give me a hand. I was trying to go down, pig. I was trying to <laughs> stealth attack you. I, I held a, a B. <laughs> Did you turn to Ash now because you were aware. Okay. Why did that not work? Oh, because what cause he had the lightning above him. I couldn't do it. Cause he was aware? Yeah, I was pressing right bumper. Okay. So I have no more sleep darts left. Fuck. There's a bone charm there. We've seen widespread looting since the month of plants. It wasn't prevalent at first, but it's a pattern now. There's an outbreak in one of the districts and the watch moves in. We quarantine buildings, put down weepers, and deport anyone showing early signs. Afterward, the dead counters come through and the lawyers write up the paperwork to transfer ownership of businesses and homes at Parliament's discretion. Soon after, like clockwork, the gangs, the gangs begin tearing the place apart. There's a fairly robust black market now because everyone wants elixir and most can't afford it. Even Sokolov's brand won't help you if you've already got the plague, but getting a regular dose is your best chance if you want to avoid contracting it. Some of the gangs have taken to buying small amounts and watering it down before selling it, and I have to admit if I didn't have an officer's Russian I'd be buying from them. Gerald Corey, City's Watch, 3rd Regiment. So I get, I think I probably have to, if I want to do lot non-lethal, I probably have to take my, put my sword away maybe. Maybe that's why it didn't work. You got lucky. When you're this handsome, you don't need face like a hagfish. Hey, don't be sour. Say, when's Slackjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixirs. You'll want to check on it. You better get all your shit together. Everything's fine. 
like I run a game of dance. Did I not hear that? Yeah. Shit, no. Turn around, is he gonna turn around? No, what you fucking why? Oh, I've got sleep dust. Alright. Why did that not shit? Now I can't loot him. Ugh. <laughs> oh shit, there's a lot of stuff in here. I should, yeah, I've got the key. Alright, let me look around here first. Explosive, but I can use that, that to clear the rats. Oh. Why did that not go off? Why did that not hit me though? So, would it let, will it let me? Oh, I should probably heal myself. Will it let me carry this and open the door at the same time? Yes. Whiskey distiller. Oh, so this is a different room. Okay. I thought it might be the same room. From room to room. Are they gonna hear that? Sleeping. No. An overseer giving a lecture to the kids. A couple guys training with those hounds. Stuff you'd expect. Uh, but my health weird. is full. Some kind of machine. Then a woman is laughing, this something? Just recipe. Oh. Then music. Kind of blinky, plonky sound. That was. He says he's still here tonight. All right. He never did find him. Oh shit. Can I disarm that? Oh. What? Oh, come on. Fuck. 
shit. No sleep darts. Alright. Two at once. Shit. Let's see what's inside you. Oh, come on, really? Oh shit. I thought maybe I was trying to have that lure them here. I guess it it did, but I didn't run away in time. Oh my god. No. It's your imagination. It's your imagination. really cool. I like that. Where did he go though? For over a year I've studied this cursed plague, collecting and dissecting rats by the thousands. Given their rapid gestation and maturation cycle, it's been possible to breed them for numerous generations. The rodents themselves seem immune to the plague, but they pass it re readily between members of their own species, perhaps through mites. The blood of the rats tells its own story, allowing me to gauge the number of generations that a given group of rats have lived with the plague. As such, a nagging question remains. The rats collected in the poorest parts of town in the slums exhibit the oldest strains of the plague, while those found in the docks where the foreign plague-bearing rats would presumably have entered our city exhibit a younger strain of plague. Could this mean that the rats were transported to the slums in some way that is not obvious? I will continue my research. If nothing else, I am living proof that Soklov's elixir and Piero's remedy are very effective at protecting against the plague if one consumes enough of the stuff. Yeah, before you get it, Soklov's, well, the, the thing that we read before said that Soklov's elixir won't help if you've already got it, but it will help prevent it. We don't know about Piero's remedy though. Oh shit. Oh shit, 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 shit. I know you're No, here. I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. Fuck, fuck. No. Where are they? Where did they go? Okay. Where are you? I know you're here. Yeah, someone's still around. Yeah, this dies. Oh, I'll find you. Come 
too far away. I won't get it. Oh no. Fuck. Alright, 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 alright. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. I don't think I can progress anymore here. to Dr. Galvani's flat. Where's that? I want to go there. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Report all deceased families. Why are you coming the over here? Unreported deaths are a punishable offense. Oh, no. oh shit. Special announcement from our honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman remain in service to the state and our power to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We owe our thanks to High Overseer Campbell for the generous loan of their services. my my sword out you know what what happened Go. I don't know where that guard ran off to. Okay. Why am I so cold? The great ships have stopped bringing their hulls. Creepy. 
God, pure chaos. Born and raised in Gristol, I spent my formative years in our smaller, who is this? In our smaller cities before settling in magnificent Dunwall. There in the capital city, I learned to appreciate the finer things. When the opportunity arose to document my travels to Sir Konos, Tivia and finally Morley, I've left my position as a clerk for the late Lord e Estermont. Perhaps like so many in Dunwall, I suffer from being excessively cultured, but I found Morley disappointing. Over the course of this journal, I will explain why I found the Festival of Chanos to be tiresome, despite the high banners, bare feet and red robes, and why the renowned jellied ox tongue is something I will be struggling to forget for many years to come. Ew. Disgusting. Oh, so he's eating, he's feeding the rats. Um, I'm worried I will die if I, ew. Um, and. Is everyone dead? Or sleeping? I don't think there's any more people here. So if I could get like a bomb or something. To kill these rats. Government protocol on disease practices. Much of the public still harbors false beliefs related to the plague. This is not true that the bile from river crusts will protect against contraction of the disease, nor is it true that crushed Morley orchids act as a remedy, though it is speculated that both of these ingredients are used in both Soklov's elixir and Piero's remedy. Consumption of these products before exposure to the plague constitutes the only known means of resisting the disease. Further, the Abbey of the Everyman warns against the superstitious practices. Not only is it ineffective to burn two hagfish and a cat together, inhaling the vapours while chanting the names of the plague dead, but it, but it is also considered heresy by the overseers and will be met with the full measure of the Abbey's laws. Tell your neighbours and practice these things yourself. Avoid contact with the infected. Consume your ration of elixir daily, preferably in the morning, and report anyone suspected of carrying the plague. Everyone must work together to stop the spread of the dreaded contagion. Oh. <laughs> Slack jaw. Reward for capture or death. The offences of this man are high crimes under the structures of the high overseer. The municipal laws of the city watch of Dunwall and the edicts of a brave lord regent in these times of peril. Wanted for various crimes. Alright, um. I would like. A flammable bottle, please. Or oh, we can go upstairs. Oh shit! <laughs> Wait, did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere. The doctor said. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just- No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. Meyer's new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? It is, isn't it? I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. Fuck. Shit. Shit. 
are you doing? What? Oh my god, go away. Where's that guy? Where did he go? I've been invited to a soiree at the Boyle Estate. Of course I won't attend. The 28th day of the 7th month, the month of high cold, is the day I meet An met Anton Sokolov at the Academy. Why would I tarnish the anniversary of the most important day of my life by licking aristocratic boots? I have no time for falls. I will be solving the riddle of this plague. Perhaps I'll raise a cup to Tivian of Tivian Red. Alright. Pocket watch. Shit, shit, this shit, whole shit. place has gone to the house. Shit. Huh? Fuck. Oh, no. Fucking hell. Help me. No. What are you doing? Shit. Where are you? No one cares, clearly, <laughs> that you need help. I need to, I need to get, I need to sort these people out. Alright, well, they've gone, they've just left, so. Alright, we've got three. What's this code? Let's try 287. That won't work. It won't work. Oh shit! Really? I literally just looked at his journal. And it said the 28th day of the seventh month, the month of high cold. Ah, oh, it's the day I meant. Eh. So he, I just put 287 and it was the code. That's so weird. I did not think that would work. I really did not. So, no. I want. I just want to hit you with a sleep dart. Shit. Alright. Alright, go to sleep. No. Let's move you in the bedroom. I hated how I can't loot her. I should have looted her first. Alright. No. Alright. Alright, there you go. I think they're all the people, so we should be able to break the glass now. When cleaning my study, I ask that you constrain your efforts strictly to the floors. Please, at all costs, refrain from attempting to clean or arrange my bookshelf. In fact, it would be best to keep away from it altogether, otherwise I'll have to reconsider the terms of your employment. Regards, Dr. Gilbani. P.S. 
Since I'll be out of the city for a few days, I've left next week's pay as well. The bank, it was closed, so I'm afraid it's short by half. You can count on me for the remainder next week, of course. Gavani Academy. No. Gavani, the latest case should arrive within a week. Containing all the components you need, be careful with the white phosphorus. Can't have you getting jossy jaw like the tanners at the edge of the city, poor bastards. Sorry you have to practice in secret. The vivisectionist should be celebrated, revered even. Cutting up rats should be done in the town square with a crowd of eager students taking notes. Not in some dirty little secret room hidden behind a wall of books. Anyway, lucky for you to have an old friend who never left the academy. Let me know what else you need, but remember it might be a month before I can put together another shipment. Yours in knowledge, Artemis Moore. Procurement, Clerk and Provisioner, Academy of Natural Philosophy at South Wing. P.S. Next time you're nearby, come in for an afternoon. We've stayed we've stayed fair, fairly insulated from the plague since so few come and go here and we've got quite the stock of Tibby and Brandy. Used to be you'd go out with a bag, a stick with a nail at the end and catch as many rats as you could in a night. I said the city watch paid my weight. My husband Benjamin and I mostly worked alone as we got by. If we found a place where the rats were real bad, sometimes we'd hire a crew of street rats to work with us, the younger ones who didn't make trouble. We'd pay them with bread and apple cider. Once the plague came, the rats were different, meaner, bigger and a little quicker. You had to watch yourself. If you got cornered, they'd turn and the swarm would come back at you. I barely got away with my skin a few times, down in the sewers. The bites hurt afterwards, but it was the sounds they made that stayed in your dreams at night. It got more dangerous and the city watch started paying better, but that didn't last long because after a while, too many people had been stripped clean trying to fill up a bag, once slip and that'd be all over you, gnawing, gnawing and trying to chew down to the bone. That's how I lost my poor Benji. God. Obviously the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat, but in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Mm. Perhaps by a foreign power. Mm. Interesting. Little is known of Pakoti, credited with this series of pamphlets arguing against the whaling trade. While he has gifted his views on nonsense and threatened the economic underpinnings of the empire, one, enslavement on the breeding and husband, husbanding of whales versus hunting the beasts in the wild after a natural and free life cycle. Picotti offers no solutions for where these massive malevolent creatures might be pastured. Two, dissolution. Laments of the destruction of social bonds between herd members. Picotti actually sees the, uses the term families. Harmony, drivel on the aesthetic wonder of what is in reality the great and terrible ocean that never threatens, that ever threatens to swallow us, includes arguments on the gentle nature of the brutes, a notion refuted by seamen who return to shore, wide-eyed with tales of the whale's savagery. 4. Disruption. Here Bacotti is on his weakest footing, issuing up feverish warnings against the displacement of transference of natural beasts from their na native environments. Okay, so can we actually get... I can't find... I can't find an explosive... What do you mean? I've already got it. Oh, pantry key. Oh. Secret room hidden behind a wall of books.
why do I want to search for samples of the infected? Contaminate the bottles. Oh, okay. Yeah. Contaminate the bottle streets. Gang elix gangs elixir still with plague rat beset. Mascara with a new will infect anyone who drinks the elixir with the plague. That includes the Bottle Street Gang and the people who buy their blood market. Oh, why would I? I don't know if I want to do that. No. I don't want to like, isn't that going to contribute to my kill, my kill counter, if I do that? Alright, let's go to this distillery and poison there. So everyone is still sleeping, thank god. Because that would have been really shit. The bottle street gangs boot like a mixer with plague. Visit Granny Rags for your gift. Where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yes. Killing rats gives you some adrenaline. Yeah. What does adrenaline do? Now I have to go to Granny Rags. Hey. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. Woohoo! one I shouldn't have gotten that that one that was such a waste I misunderstood what it did I thought that yeah I mean no it's not a waste because when I upgrade it because we're getting a lot of rats at the moment and I'm guessing it's because I've killed so many people so now I'm scared that it's just gonna, am I gonna get to a point where I kind of soft lock myself? Like it's gonna be so hard, I can't literally go anywhere because I've killed too many people? I really hope not. Surely it's like place by place, you know? Like when I move on to the next area, it'll kind of reset. I'm assuming that's what it, be, it will be like. Oh well, we'll see. Okay, that's it for me tonight. I'm pretty tired, actually. Um, I'm really enjoying this game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, like I said before, I did not think that we would get powers or any supernatural elements, but I'm really, yeah, I'm really, really liking it. I'm loving the world building and everything. It's just, 
yeah i'm really excited to continue playing thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you for the next one see you later Thank you.